Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Welcome back if you are new, I'm Manissa. And I did this Wicked Movie inspired makeup look. I hope you like it. I'll be posting every Sunday towards Halloween. So yeah, make sure you have your notification bell turned on. And like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Click the notification bell so you'll never miss a video. And follow me on all my social media. Buy my book, Trouble Girls United. So the link to my book and the makeup products that I use will be in the description down below. And yeah, subscribe. Hey guys, I had this idea right after I uploaded my Jack Skellington slash Sally Stitches Nightmare Before Christmas makeup tutorial. I thought, why not do a wicked themed makeup look? I wanted to do both Galinda and Elphaba, but didn't want to post two separate videos, so I decided to do a split look. I haven't seen this done before, but I was inspired by how my Jack and Sally split makeup turned out on my first try with no practice. Since I had already done Sally before, the challenge was perfect. If the Jack side didn't work, I could always redo it as a full face, so let's get into this wicked split look that combines both characters. Start by applying Bath & Body Works Skin Ham Ultimate Hydration Body Cream with Hyaluronic Acid or any moisturizer you prefer. First, wash your face with a cleanser to create a clean base for foundation. I use CeraVe Face Cleanser, which is gentle and perfect for sensitive skin. Allow the lotion to absorb fully before moving on to foundation. This step ensures everything layers smoothly without becoming cakey. Apply Lyku Vitamin C Brightening Eye Cream to reduce puffiness and dark circles around the eyes. It works wonders for tightening the under eye area. Use any foundation of your choice. I went with Sai Slip Tint Tinted Moisturizer in shade 8. Blend it with the Beauty Blender or brush for a lightweight dewy finish. Use the Morphe Jaclyn Hill palette with a medium sized fluffy blending eyeshadow brush. Dip into the shade Enchanted and apply it all over the left side of your face. Tap for more pigment, then blend using circular motions to eliminate harsh edges and create a smooth, even base. With the same brush, dip into the Morphe Jeffree Star palette and use the lighter green shade Nate. Apply this on top of the first layer to add definition and contrast. Next, use a box of crayons palette layering multiple shades of green 
darkest till lightest for more depth and dimension. This layering technique creates a natural gradient while enhancing the character's green tone. Apply Rare Beauty Positive Light Under Eye Brightener in shade Medium Deep under your eyes for a glowing effect. Let it absorb before blending with a beauty blender for extra coverage. Next, use Too Faced Born Display Concealer in shade Chai. To add more coverage, blend it out across your eyelids to act as a primer for the eyeshadow, helping prevent creasing and ensuring better adhesion. Apply Makeup by Mario Surreal Skin Foundation in shade 19C on the right side of your face using a beauty blender. You only need one pump for a flawless skin-like finish. Use Rare Beauty Clear Brow Gel to brush up your eyebrows and give them a laminated effect. This keeps them in place all day. With the Becky G La Florida Mexico palette, use a medium fluffy blending eyeshadow brush to apply the transition shade Petunia all over your eyelid. To mimic a soft cut crease without using concealer, apply the shade Ladies Clipper on the lid with a flat fluffy blending brush. This keeps the look soft, blended, and natural while adding dimension.
Use the light transition shade pineapple sage and the crease above the cut crease for added precision. Followed by the dark brown shade Passiflora and the outer corner for depth. From the Translucid Beauty I Am palette, dip into the shades Forte and Elma. Use the black shade Forte to fill in the brow on the alphabet side and mix Elma with a little bit of Forte to fill in the brow on the Glenda side using an angled brush. Coat your lashes with Rare Beauty Mascara or any mascara of your choice. Apply REM Beauty Bronzer in shade Blaze lightly on the right side of your face to create a soft contour. Be gentle to keep it natural.
from its La Florida Mexico palette use the shades Petunia and Lady Slipper as a blush. Lightly blend for a soft natural finish. Use the Morphe James Charles palette and apply a light green shade all over the left side of your face for highlight and contrast. For Alphaba, use Lime Crime Plushies Lipstick in shade Smoky on the left side of your lips. Then layer the shade Enchanted from the Jaclyn Hill palette on top to mimic Elphaba's green lips. Finally, for Galinda, apply Too Faced High Shine Gloss in shade Crazy Rich on the right side of your lips for a natural glossy look. And that's it! You now have a split Galinda and Elphaba Wicked seamed makeup look. Let me know what you think in the comments and don't forget to tag me if you recreate this look. Hey guys, I hope you like this makeup look that I did. If you do, like, comment, and subscribe. Bye.